today we'll be doing a unit activity meeting called Legend of 1000 Cranes from the topic 3D craft and design. We'll discover a Japanese tradition by folding origami cranes. They're not just for decoration, they've also helped to inspire people from all over the world. Origami has been part of Japanese culture for centuries. It's said that anyone with enough patience to fold 1000 cranes will be rewarded with their most desired wish. What would you wish for? Sadako's story is about one girl's wish and is known worldwide. At the end of World War II, an atomic bomb was dropped near Sadako's home in Japan. Because of this, she became sick. Sadako knew about the crane legend and started folding. She wished to get well and for peace for people who were sadly suffering. She sadly died before she could finish her cranes, but her classmates finished the 1,000 cranes in her honour. At Sadako's story spread, the origami crane has become a symbol of peace and hope. A statue of Sadako stands in Japan, surrounded by cranes sent over by children from all over the world. To make the crane, you'll need a square of bright colour paper measuring at least 7.5 by 7.5 centimetres. You could have a selection of different colours if you'd like to make more than one. Take your square and fold it in half, checking that the two sides line up. Open and repeat the other way to make a cross in your paper. It's important to press down and make all your folds firm. Turn your paper over and fold it in half, corner to corner, then open it up. Repeat with the other side and keep the paper folded. Hold your paper with the middle point facing down. Take the right corner and push it to meet the bottom corner. Turn over and repeat. On the top layer only, fold each side corner into the centre. Do this on both sides and then unfold. Fold the top corner down and unfold. Take the bottom corner and lift it, pushing the sides in. Repeat on the other side so you have a diamond shape. Then take one of the bottom points and fold it up. Do the same with the other bottom point and turn over to repeat. Take one of the bottom corners and fold it up. Turn the fold inside by pushing the centre upwards and do the same with the other bottom point. Choose one of the newly folded points and make a head by folding a little bit of the paper downwards. Fold down the wings to complete your crane. Decide on a way to display your crane. They're often hung together on ribbons. You could display your cranes together in your next unit meeting. This activity was from Unit Meeting Activity Pack 3. For more fun activities, head to the Girl Guiding Shop at girlguidingshop.co.uk.